Um, for camps, private team camps and DVDs, it's Perler Wrestling. And so here we go. These guys have wrestled many times the edge to Zane Richards from Illinois. Richards out of Carbondale, Illinois. Product of uh, wrestling. He, he traveled a couple hours uh, north to wrestle with the Edwardsville Wrestling Club. Yeah, with uh, three-time All-American Pat McNamara, who heads that. McNamara from Michigan State. One of the mentors of this young man from Southern Illinois, and now a fifth-year senior for the Illini. Montoya started his career at Campbell University and then transferred to Nebraska and has uh, done quite a job for Mark Manning and his team. You know, 133, one of the more balanced weight classes in the country, but Richards seated number one in this tournament. He had All-American Earl Hall. And Seth Gross as well from uh, South Dakota State. Earl Hall from Iowa State. Highly ranked wrestlers, Hall and All-American. Gross pretty like, off to a good start this season. So not easy battles to get to the finals here for either one of these guys. These guys met in the NWCA All-Star Classic and Zane Richards winning 9-7. to seven. That's how close these two are. Here's your intermat rankings, our partner in national rankings. Corey Clark, who right now did not wrestle in this tournament. He has a, uh, an injury. See Zane Richards, number two. He's the number one seed. That's what the one means there in the box. Number two, Montoya, is the number two seed here at Midlands. Montoya out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. As we said, started at Campbell University and transferred to Nebraska. Three-time NCAA qualifier, first with Campbell in the last two years with, at Nebraska. There's a shot by Richards. And he's pretty tough for this position, even though he has his head buried right there. He has that long reach, good grip. And you notice how Montoya is pushing with his right hand right there, pushing the knees back, not allowing Richards to collect himself. It's good defense. Both of these guys, All-Americans last year. Top eight at the NCAA championships at Madison Square Gardens, New York City last up. year. This year, up. they'll be in St. Louis. They'll meet uh, probably again at the uh, Big Ten Championships. Indiana University will be brought, the championship finals will be brought to you live by the Big Ten Networks. A Three. shot by Richards and score. Beautiful high crotch shot right there. Got to Montoya stepping into it, was Why able to switch that? off to the double. Richards, you know, it's not easy to push him around the mat. If you want to get him backing up, it's that's not going to not going to happen. He keeps a low center of gravity, very comfortable. Montoya had a tough match in the semis, beating Seth Gross from South Dakota State. Sudden victory in overtime. Take a look at the uh, nice shot there by Richards. See how he's able to go ahead, and drop in, attack the right leg. Gets Montoya stepping into that shot, and during the roll through, switching off to the double. Like the way he got his out on his toes there to drive back in for that uh, finish. Yeah, it was just probably the most ideal setup. He really got Montoya walking into that Make it better, shot. One red, neutral. Finish was easy after that. You know, some of these guys, you know, they, they, they shoot to be shooting, but. Everything that Richards seems to do, right back in on that high crotch again. A little bit worse angle here for him this time, but he's able to go ahead and lock the leg and he's able to sit back, Montoya back down and get the takedown. As you say, Jim, the shoelaces were up. He was driving into the hips and got two more takedowns. Love it. So you get in there and, you know, some, it, it, it's tough to go ahead and, and uh, do an ankle pass. So many of the guys flop around face to shoelace situations when you have good solid finishes like that and that's one he really had to work and adjust the first one was just caught Montoya dead to right he kind of shot across the body and still able to finish two nice takedowns for Richards one right neutral Richards was a two time right. Illinois high school champion out of Carbondale Illinois before joining the Illini and this is where Richards can really kind of put the uh, extend the lead Montoya is in chase mode. And as you noticed before with the first takedown, Richards was able to just drop his level and catch him stepping into his uh, the leg that he wanted, that right leg of Montoya. Now he's working off the underhook on that side. And 
Richards is a difficult guy to, to push around. You, know, you can't really make an impression on the referee. Even when he's not looking for his offense, he doesn't give you many opportunities to push him off the mat unless he wants to go there. See, Montoya is really pushing hard, and, and it just does, you see him settle down. His lower body is settled down, relaxed. He's not going to get pushed around. Good look at our head official, Mike Haggerty, out of Kansas City, Blue Springs High School, inducted this year, coming up as the at the, for the National Wrestling Hall of Fame as an official. Nice shot there by Montoya, but you can see how he has his Richards has his chest up, his hips down, shoelaces flat. All right, going ahead and. and what big wide base. You can see how he's getting a lot of his legs are right. no, both far out. apart there. Now you mentioned Mike Haggerty, one of the best officials in the country. And a, uh, a very good high school wrestling coach. Blue Springs High School in the Kansas City area. So he coaches, he officiates, and he is excellent at both. A much deserved honor going into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in Stillwater, Oklahoma. So, as an official. Montoya, you know, he's pretty good in the top position. I, I imagine he's going to go ahead and try to you know, really work hard and tough. Look at the job that, just look at that position he's starting off with there. There's no pockets open there for. That knee can't be draped on that other hip. You got to get it back there. Help me out. See how he's closed down those pockets there. Right elbow, right knee, very close together. Can't get that size nine foot in there. Got to do it on the other side, though. It's just, this, this is what where Montoya is, is very solid. See Jason Powell on the right there, the NCAA uh, uh, champion. He's also really good at the top position himself. Yes, he was. Yeah, He's on the up, right of uh, Mark out. Manning there. Yep, yeah, put up double digits in the finals. So he knows the top position very well, and he was excited when Montoya was able to get that left leg in there. You know, what, what is a factor right now is, is, is riding time. It's amassing in favor of Montoya, and he's got both legs in, and so he's allowed himself to get back into this match here by three quick escapes and the ability to ride. Half a minute of riding time built up by Eric Montoya. And, and this is the problem, you know, you got two takedowns, but you did try to build up a little bit anyway. You, you have to build up enough of a comfort zone so you can go ahead and and, and, and get out in a reasonable amount of time against the guy who's tough on top. Well, here's the opportunity for Zane Richards as uh, they're, they're going to start. I expect him to move off the bottom. He didn't get much of a move, movement. Good start here, guys. Set, red. Look for some sort of switching or sitting back type of action. Set. Right there for more movement up to a, kind of a tripod stand up. But, See that leg coming in on the bottom side. It's time, so it's got the leg out. A lot of hand fighting going on there. Nice work there. Cut that leg out. Now the leg comes in on the other side. And Richard's just not comfortable enough to go ahead and, and, and work out of that with any type of roll through. Don't take it out. And so. if Montoya rides him out, he'll get the riding time point. It'll be four to four, and they'll go to sudden victory. Yeah, one thing I just love about this style, there's just more than one way to, to beat a guy. You know, and here's the three quick escapes and, and showing dominance in the top position. And he's able to go ahead and work himself back into this match. And these two rivals who've met each other several times, Richards having the edge, they're going into sudden victory. Montoya trying to Here we go, guys. Set. Well, even it up. Very Good chance that Richard's going to get right back in on that high shot, high crotch shot there. Now he's driven Three. through. Oh, it's oh, a takedown for Montoya wow. in sudden victory. Eric Montoya from Nebraska, the Midlands champion at 133 pounds. Tim, that was so well done. Gave up two takedowns and worked himself back into that match. Showed some physical dominance. Got Richards maybe a little bit tired there, but maybe a little bit more unsure of himself. And answered with that takedown. Take and a look at this. Well, here's Eric Montoya. He's the Midlands champion. 
for 2016 at 133 pounds.